good morning guys it is Erika Misha and I'm just coming to you today with the um, Sunday dinner I'm gonna be cooking turkey pot pie and just wanted to show you the ingredients real quick and I do have to say I got this recipe for the uh, chicken pot pie from the famous cook Gia she's the I hope I'm saying her name right yeah I think it is Gia um, she's the um, she's the short Italian lady no offense, I'm just trying to describe her to you guys. But um, yes, the famous Gia, I love her. I watch her all the time. Um, it is the turkey pot pie. Now, the video I saw of hers, it was the mini uh, turkey pot pies, but I'm gonna do the regular pot pies. I don't wanna do the mini ones, um, but, cause I changed my mind. I was, but I'm like, eh, I'd rather do a big pot pie, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna do one pot pie with veggies and one without. Y'all know how I go. Anyway, just want to show you guys real quick my ingredients. I have the mixed vegetables. It is the Publix mixed vegetables. Um, I have the um, Purdue carb turkey breast. So I'll just chop that into, it's already small pieces. I'll just cut it into smaller pieces. Um, and the famous Pillsbury pie crust. I will be using this. This is the box that comes with the two crusts, bottom and top, duh. And um, her recipe calls for salt and pepper, uh, three quarters of milk, two tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of flour. So, yep. Yeah. So that's what I will be doing. Once again, this is the um, recipe by the famous cook Gia. Um, so that's whose recipe I'm following today. And thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, these are the ingredients that I will be using. And let's go okay guys i am back and once again shouts out to miss jetta the cook the famous cook um i think she's on the cooking channel if i'm not mistaken um there's so many cooking channels so i get them all mixed up <clears throat> but anyway shouts out to miss jetta um the uh italian cook lady um she um i'm following one of her recipes um, I saw it online, so this is for the mini Popeyes, but I'm just gonna make the regular size Popeyes. But anyway, once again, shouts out to Miss Gia to, hey girl, hey, thanks for the recipe. Anyway, so just wanna show you guys the first thing, uh, we're gonna do two tablespoons of room temperature butter. And you guys know I have always already had my butter out. So let me get my stove on. So I already have my butter sitting now, my room temperature butter. So I got the two tablespoons of butter. All right, and let's see what else she did. We got two tablespoons of flour we need to add. That butter in there. And y'all know I got my Gotham. Got my Gotham pot here. All right, so two tablespoons of flour. One. Two. All right. Okay. So we got our butter and flour in there. Good. Make sure y'all can see what's going on in this pot. Scoot y'all up a little bit there. So y'all can see what's going on. Alright. Let's get everybody get together and melt. Okay. Cut my temperature down a little bit. Yeah, because. When Miss Jita was doing, I don't remember it fizzing like this. So let me cut this heat down some. All right. So I do. All right. So we're going to melt our butter and flour together. Okay. All right. Calm down. Okay. Flour and butter together. Three, four cups of our milk. Let's get our milk in there. Okay, room temperature milk. Cut this down to four. All right, so let's get this all stirred in. 
the three four cups of room temperature milk add salt and pepper okay add some salt she did the little um Gia did the little um where she took a little little finger pinch y'all know how we do so I'm gonna go ahead and do it how I do it so I just did uh just a sprinkle of salt and a little bit of pepper you guys saw I'm not doing too much That all mixed together. Let's get everybody all getting along. All right, so we've added our salt and pepper, a quarter cup of cheese. She did add a quarter cup, cup of cheese. I guess that kind of helps thicken it. So I'm gonna do mild cheddar. She did some fancy Italian cheese. I don't even remember it, the name of it. I'm sorry, I don't even remember the name of it. Some fancy Italian cheese. So I'm just going to add a little bit of mild cheddar cheese. <laughs> um, and I'm sure she, like she said, it was just, you know, to help thicken and give it a little extra flavor. So I think this uh, mild cheddar. And she said only a quarter cup of cheese. Okay. So, yeah, that's a quarter. That's a quarter cup. I don't want to push it. Okay, so we got the mild cheddar cheese in there. I think that'll taste good. Okay, let's get that all mixed up. Turn our heat back down. Okay, let's see what else you did. Okay, cut the turkey into small pieces. I've already done that. Alright. Cut the turkey into small pieces. Already did that. Um, add the turkey. And add the vegetables. Okay, let's get this mixed up a little bit. Looking kind of thick there. Okay, I see what you're talking about, girl. Sticking it up. All right, so that looks good. It has thickened itself up. All right. So let's add our turkey. Our turkey, and I have to add the um. And another reason why I got this Purdue turkey, it was already smoked. They already smoked and cooked it, of course. So, cut this down. All right, so we got turkey. Let's add our vegetables. Um, how am I gonna do it? Because I want to put veggies in some and not in the other. <laughs> Let me figure that out. Okay, so. So what's left to do? Add the vegetables, mix well. Okay, then you put it in your uh, pie crust. All right. Okay, so this looks good. That looks good, guys. That looks really good. Really, really good. Mmm, mmm. That was easy. That's why I like her. She makes it nice and simple. Okay, guys. So, as you see, I've got my... Let me make sure you guys... Put you guys over this way. As you can see, I have the, um, the filling already. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this in one of my pie crusts. Because I'm going to do one vegetable, one not vegetable. So, one non-vegetable. So, I'll go ahead and add this now to my pie crust. And then I'm going to add veggies to the rest to make the vegetable one. So... Let's go ahead and do that. Let me get my oven preheated. Okay, let's get that started. All right, so. Got this all looking good. This looks delicious. Smells delicious. All right. That smoked turkey in there it tastes so good. Mm. Mm, that tastes good. Okay, Gita. Okay. All right. So let's get it over here to our pie crust. Let me get you guys over here while I've got our pie crust all set up. 
turn you guys around. Here you go. All right, here you go. Okay, so we've got our pie crust already over here. Oh, hold on, guys. All right, so we've got the pie crust ready. I'm going to go ahead and do the filling now. Spread it around. I don't want to make it too thick, you know? Because this is going to produce a juice, so, especially from the turkey. So we'll just do it like this. Get it nicely spread it around. And that looks good. Add a little bit more. Okay. All right. So. All right. Let me turn you guys back around. You see, I've got that one ready. Let's go back. Hope y'all ain't getting dizzy. All right, let's get the vegetables in the second one. Let's get our vegetables here. Let's get the vegetables added. Uh oh, vegetables are falling everywhere. All right, let's get our vegetables in the second one. All right, you guys can see. Yep. Make sure you guys can see a little bit. All right, there you go. Adding the vegetables to the second one. Looking good. I'm going to go ahead and cut my stove off. All right. This is looking good. With the vegetables added. Looking good. Smells good, too. All right. Okay. It's real cute. We got this. We got this. Okay. All right. So, once again, I'll spin you guys around so we can go ahead and get our second pie crust filled. Okay. So, we got this one filled. You guys saw me do that one. Okay. Let's move that one out of the way. That is our non veggie one. Now let's go ahead and get this one filled. Ooh, yeah, this looks good. Looks delicious. Okay, make sure I get all my stuff now. All my ingredients. Make sure you guys can see that. Oh, y'all can see real good. Okay, take y'all in a little bit more. Okay, all right. We looking good. We is looking good, y'all. Look at this. Oh, this gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. That looks really good. Looks really good. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Easy peasy. That was easy. That was so easy guys. So let's go ahead i got to pull out the refrigerator let's go ahead and get the top to our pie crust well the other pack of pie crust don't forget guys we're using pills better let's go ahead and get the tops on to these babies let me make sure you guys can see what i'm doing okay let me scoot it up some okay guys Alright, let's get our tops on so we can go ahead and get them in the oven. Alright, and like I said, this Pillsbury comes with the two. See, it comes with the two, top and bottom. Alright, so, let's get this baby open so it can slide on out. Let's go. Alright, and you just take it, show you guys, just take it, make sure you guys can see, okay good, and you just take it, and you just 
unroll it easy but you know be gentle be gentle i think jenna had a little flower on hers but i don't, I don't need flour it's fine all right okay easy let's get our pie back over here okay all right make sure y'all can see and i'm just gonna lay this over the top just like that easy lay it over the top just like that make sure it's even though make sure everything even your pie crust even with the other pie crust just kind of feel around you'll see it's even all right we're looking good we're looking good okay looks good everything looks good all right and the only thing we're gonna do i'm gonna take my fork like miss jada did jada i'm sorry like miss jada did and i'm just gonna well see she folded um i want to do the fold method i don't want to do the um fork method so i'm just gonna fold it like she did and, and the fold just seals it that's all seals everything i like the fold method anyway get a thicker crust around the sides so i like doing it this way just taking my hand and i'm taking that bottom crust folding it up to the top crust just to seal it seals everything in Seals everything in when it's cooking. Ooh, we. All right, that's looking good. That is looking really good. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Okay, watch out, Miss Jada. Watch out, girl. All right. We is looking good. Okay. All right. And she did take a little um, egg wash. She said she uh, did an egg with a little water added to it. And um, she just brushed it across the top. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get that other pie sealed up. Um, I'll do one egg, a little water, and just brush it across the top of the pie. And go ahead and throw it in the oven. Uh, let me see. 400 degrees for 15 minutes all right guys i'll be back pulling them out of the oven okay guys we are back i just pulled the pies out of the oven and let me take you guys in for a closer look over here let me see which one that is ah uh, that is the vegetable papai the uh papai with the veggies in it give me a second let me take you guys in you get a nice close look at it look at it looks amazing looks amazing guys nicely browned looks really good let me take you guys over to the plain with no veggies looks good look like my side kind of caved in a little bit but that's okay don't matter looks delicious guys and that is it guys that is our Pump, I'm not pumpkin, but that is our turkey Popeye's Sunday dinner, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias at Arika Misha. And of course, you guys already know knowledge. Oh, yes, believe it, it's power. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.